Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC and it's maiden day for the blob. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right then guys, here we go, maiden flight. Now it's a bit breezier than I would have hoped. Um, it did say on the weather report that it was a gentle breeze, but it seems to have picked up a bit this afternoon, but other than that, it's quite a nice day. But we'll see how we get on, we'll just take it steady and uh, see what happens. We've got 3 minutes 30 on the clock. I think I'll launch it on 3 quarter throttle and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with it. are very high. These loads of down trip. Okay, it's done a loop. It's about trimmed out. Needed loads of down trim. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of speed. It's maybe got a bit too much down now. Three minutes. That's looking pretty solid. It's very sensitive, so I think I need to dial the rates back. Good job I put some expo in. see it really nice as well, those black stripes underneath work a treat. It's getting buffed about, buffed about by the wind of course a fair bit. But it looks really nice. At all, and that was, uh, I don't think it was even three quarters throttle, it was about half throttle. Nice and quiet as well, actually, really quiet. Can't make my mind up whether it still needs, I think it needs a bit of up trim now. It's going to be quick, I'm barely even touching the throttle. Let's see what happens when we open the throttle, does it climb like a nutcase or is it okay? Pretty good. It's just hard to tell with this wind. Two what I might try is a little bit of stabilisation. See if that works any better. A bit of wind rejection, see if that smooths it out a little bit. isn't it? Turned up the gain a little bit on the uh, gyro just to see if it helps with the wind rejection. Gonna slow it right down. It's almost floating there. Ok, 
Okay, the wind, uh, the sun's just gone behind the big clouds, that might make the wind go a bit worse. But to be honest, this sort of weather is exactly what I wanted it for, was to just something, you know, it's so easy to get in the car with, it just doesn't come to bits, it's just as it is, one piece. One minute. And then even if it's a windy day like today, I've got the wind rejection running on the gyro. I can fly it around. And I would say that's working nicely now. Pretty happy with that now. was a bit too hasty with the up trim before. Beautiful, flying really nice. Smooth, sounds good. Right, let's, uh, let's slow it down, let's bring it in for a landing. We'll check the battery. Probably feels quite at home in this wind. Yes, sir. There we go down okay happy with that really happy with that great maiden let's see what we've got in the battery Okay, we've got 30%. So I think what I've got on the clock, 3.30, um, is fine. I have my timer set based on the throttle usage, so it's longer than three minutes 30, but I didn't have much full throttle there. So um, I think that's fine. Cool, okay, I'm gonna put another pack in it and we'll try again. And what I'm also going to do is just dial these rates back.
Right, let's try again. Flight two. Oh, it launches really easy. Great little plane. Definitely recommend having a look at one of these. NJRmodeling.co.uk. That's climbing quite a lot again now. It was an enjoyable build and flies great. Even though it is getting absolutely battered by this wind, it's still going well. about half throttle so not not very hardly using any throttle let's just try turning this gain up for a little bit whoa, too much too much whoa <laughs> So what happened there was uh, I turned the gain up too high on the gyro and you could see there it just started doing a bit of a tank slapper. I think that's okay now. Let's go for a loop. I don't bring it in too low with this wind. The speed, it's going to. Uh, quite easily get sort of flicked towards the ground by the wind. Those black stripes on the bottom really show up well. So it's quite easy to tell which way around it is, which is good. for a slow pass. I like the shape of the wings. This might sound stupid.
stupid, but it, it looks almost, it's got sort of the shape, particularly in the air, of like a mini pattern plane with the swept wings and swept wings. Probably talking rubbish, but that's what it reminds me of anyway. And it certainly seems to fly. I mean, it's hard to say with this wind, but it's flying very precisely. It really goes where you uh, where you point it. Okay, let's bring it into land again. Passenger on it. That bit of scary landing. Some serious turbulence there. Okay, that's two flights on the clock. Really enjoying it, guys. I'll leave it at that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you've enjoyed following the build along with this. And if you're into Boltzer, Nitro, Electric, anything sort of uh, Boltzer fixed wing based, then uh, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. You'd be helping me out massively and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and of course, massive thank you to all those people who have subscribed already. Um, it's superb and you're really helping me, so thank you. And if you've got any comments, then stick them in the comments box and I'll gladly uh, respond to you. And if you like the video, obviously it takes a little while to film these things and produce them on the computer and all that sort of stuff. Why not give me a thumbs up? Um, that would help me out as well. But most importantly, if you could help me out by subscribing, that'd be fantastic. So there it is, the NJR modeling blob. Great little plane. And uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.